for watching NewsX. My name is Vinny. The nominations for Amiti and Rai Bareilly in Uttar Pradesh have uh, started. All eyes are on the Congress announcement if Rahul Gandhi will contest from Amiti or not. Also, who will Sonia Gandhi pass the baton to for the Rai Bareilly seat? Smithy Rani, Union Minister and BJP's candidate from Amiti, has challenged Rahul to face her. But there is clear hesitation after the 2019 loss by the Congress party. As for Rai Bareilly, there is a buzz that the baton will uh, pass, will be passed to Priyanka Gandhi this time, setting up another major high-profile contest. Well, the big question is, will Rahul contest from Amethi and fight to regain the, the former Congress bastion? If he does not, what impact that could have on the Congress's overall contest as well as appeal? There are a lot of questions. Let's try and address them with our guests. Joining us on the show to talk more about this is Neha Joshi, BJP spokesperson. Mr. George Kutian, Congress leader, also joins us on the program. Uh, Mr. Desh Ratan Nigam, political analyst, with us on the program as well. Sumit Peer, senior political commentator, also joins us on the show. Manasvi Thapar, political analyst, will be joining us shortly uh, on the program as well. George Kutian, I'll begin with you. Well, so far, the... Uh, atmosphere that is being pushed or rather talked about is that once you know this was a secure bastion for the congress party but since rahul gandhi's loss the congress is aiming for safety and security but still you know the buzz is ripe that rahul gandhi may go back to amethi but what does that do to rahul gandhi you know smriti rani has of course uh, uh, as per the Bharti Janta Party, done a lot in this constituency which was not done by rahul gandhi when he was the member of parliament george kurin Good afternoon, Vinit, uh, and to my co-panelists from the show and to your audience. Uh, uh, my understanding is that, yes, Priyanka Gandhi would be contesting from Rai Bareilly, Rahul Gandhi would be contesting from Amethi, and uh, this time around, both of them are going to win with a huge margin, unlike uh, to 2019. Uh, we all understand that, you know, BJP had very little presence or no presence until 2009. It's only post-2014 that, you know, BJP got that rise in percentage. So that is very... Uh, 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 that, that's very much visible uh, when you go, go back to the statistics of, of Rai Bareilly and Abeti. Uh, we, all we all understand that CEC meeting is going to be happening very shortly and uh, uh, we can expect this uh, list of names uh, maybe later in the day or to, uh, tomorrow morning. Mm. Okay. Sumit, now the India Alliance is at play in uh, Uttar Pradesh. The Congress will be contesting from 17 seats and the Samajwadi Party will be taking care of the remainder of the 63 seats. Apart from uh, Rai Bareilly and Amethi, the Congress will also be contesting from Varanasi. You know why that constituency is famous, Sumit, who would know better than you, Ghaziabad and Kanpur. Uh, the Prime Minister is, of course, uh, uh, going to be contesting from Varanasi and the Congress will also jump into the fray. How do you look at the situation for the Congress party? Is it that, uh, uh, you know, famous colloquial proverbial saying that uh, you're stuck between the devil and the deep blue sea? If you contest, then you're in trouble. And if you don't, then also you're not. Vinay, thank you very much for having me on your show. In fact, if you look at the Samik Karan, what we call it Hindi, you're only contesting 17 seats. That means you're not serious about UP. How can you leave UP? UP is 80 seats. UP is the political gateway to Delhi. If you have to be in Delhi, you have to contest 80 seats in UP. Else you're not serious. Now, if Samajwadi is giving you 17 seats, the 70 seats, that means Samajwadi is not also sure about you. Now, if you look at Rai Bareilly and Amethi, for example, Ghaziabad, the, you know, the polling was done yesterday. And but I UP has never been the strong suite for uh, the Congress party, Sumit, as you know. Yeah, but you see, Vineet, the idea is, as a national party, I have to do my best to come to the power. But as a matter of fact, if I choose even not to contest, there is no way I can come to the power. You know, that is the first thing. Now, the Congress is the second, is a, is a, is a grand old party. Nobody can deny that. But how is they are only they are leaving to a local partner? Uh, you know, 67 seats are, they are contesting in 17 seats, 63 seats to a local partner. That's a subject matter of discussion. If you look at Ghaziabad, the polling happened yesterday. I casted my vote there. I can tell you Ghaziabad is not going to Congress way. Then I can tell you for sure, based on my personal assessment. Varanasi will not go to Congress way. And if you talk of Amiti and Rai Bareilly, look, Vineet, Amiti, Rahul Gandhi ji was looking at what will happen in Vainad. Based on the, you know, uh, you know, the pulse of the Vainar, how did it go? Look, look remember this, Miss Aini Raja is also contesting there and they don't want Rahul Gandhiji to contest from there. 
So looking at is Vainard safe or is it not safe, then he will take a pledge in a meeting. So if the Vainard is safe, he might not go to a meeting. But if the Vainard is not safe, he still has some issues and troubles there, he might contest a meeting. If you are really serious about contesting a meeting, you should have contested long back. You will get a time to campaign, you will get a time to counter Simriti Irani ji. And likewise, same is the case for Rai Bareilly. So will Priyanka ji contest from Rai Bareilly? I have my own doubts. It depends on a lot of things because look, at the end of the day, Gandhi Parivar, Priyanka ji and Rahul Gandhi ji cannot lose. They cannot afford this fiasco that the future generation of the Parivar or the Congress is losing in the UP. They can't afford that. So in order to save the face, these two might not even contest because if they are serious in contesting, what stops what stop them from filing papers so far? They would have done a lot of campaign. They would have done a lot of people contact, like, like Samriti ji is doing, like other candidates are doing on the ground. So do you think you are such a big or a tall candidate, you can come in the last minute and the pupil will come and wait for you? That... The way, the reason they are not filing the nominations we need talks about there is no confidence. They are seeing the waters, they are assessing the situation, they are seeing, you know, what you rightly said between the deep, uh, deep, uh, devil yeah. and the deep blue. They are contemplating which one is more shallower or which one is more deeper. So that is the calculation they are doing, Vinay. Hmm. Okay. All right. Neha Joshi, BJP spokesperson, also with us on the program. Neha, welcome to the show. Uh, Smriti Rani is, uh, of course, pretty confident that uh, she's going to be victorious once again. Rahul Gandhi, on the other hand, has also expressed that he's been reported of some undercurrents in Uttar Pradesh, which are heavily and dominantly favouring the India bloc. What's your assessment of uh, whether you know Rahul Gandhi is right or not? And will it be a risk altogether uh, for the BJP and Rahul Gandhi both to be contesting from Amethi because uh, Smithy Rani did win last time around uh, by 55,000 votes. But, you know, it's politics. Anything can happen. Uh, thank you, Vineet. Good evening to everyone. Um, uh, Vineet, uh, can you list a few instances when Rahul Gandhi was right in the past 10 years? I think uh, we all will be left wanting if we start finding those. So, you know, uh, Amethi rejected him in 2019. And uh, what is different... Uh, uh, Don't forget, he, he won by a very heavy margin in Vayanad, okay? That was one of the highest margins throughout. Well, uh, Amethi was supposed to be a Congress bastion. Even today, when Congress spokespersons, uh, all of those I encounter on television, uh, they seem to have this opinion that uh, Rahul, uh, Amethi still belongs to the Gandhis or the Congress party. So, with that kind of confidence, if the uh, the the uh, you know the chairman of this private limited company he loses from amethi i think that's a big deal and that's a pretty big statement from the people of amethi they were very clear and what is different uh, that smriti rani has from any other uh, leader is that she has worked 24 into 7 every day of the year in the service of people of amethi you know i work with a lot of politicians i am a politician but the kind of commitment that i see in somebody like smriti rani and uh, you know, uh, I, I, I'll also say that being a woman in politics is not easy. Being a woman parliamentarian is not easy. She is a parliamentarian, she's a woman, she's a minister. But the way she's juggled being a minister to being a, a, a first time member of parliament from Amethi, uh, how she, at the end of five years, she even has a house in Amethi, how she's called Amethi ki Didi, very, very adoringly by the people of Amethi. All of these things. You know, I don't think there is any scope from anybody from the Gandhi family. Anyways, there's a lot of confusion, uh, Vineet. Uh, we know that uh, Mr. Robert Vadra has uh, recently declared that the people of Amethi seems to be wanting him. So between him and his wife and Rahul Gandhi, I'm not sure who's going to contest. But I think whoever contests, I think we are more excited than the Congress party. We want to look at this contest because this is going to be, this is going to be fun for us. Okay, Mr. Nikam, how do you look at the situation? I don't know what's going to happen if Mr. Vadra also jumps into this, uh, you know, this milieu of, uh, you know, Congress aspirants from Amethi. But the fact of the matter is, I'm not a politician, I'm not a political pundit or an advocate like you. But there is obviously a disconnect if Mr. Vadra also jumps in into this bandwagon of, uh, you know, possible pratyashis or contestants from Please Amethi. He already has jumped in. And I know, I know, I know. He already has. But, but how confusing is it? And, 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 and what kind? Uh, of setback, is this also going to prove for, you know, the entire Congress setup? If well, at all. Vineet, uh, Vineet, you don't need to be a political pundit to comment on the affairs of the Congress now. Any layman can also do it, what is happening in Congress. So, uh, if they are not even clear as of now who is going to contest from Diapolidly and Amity, you can understand the state of affairs of the Congress party. Now, let me also bring out a particular fact that there is not so very healthy 
you know rivalry between uh, rahul and priyanka and the priyanka camp wants rahul to contest from uh, amethi which which would actually mean finishing the career of rahul gandhi because that would be a big risk he would be taking and 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 the entire you know the setup within the congress the the two setups which are there one favoring rahul other favoring priyanka priyanka wants uh, rahul to contest from there and uh, will she jump into rivalry i have my doubts because uh, she has been given she was made the in charge of up election she badly failed in fact she was made the general secretary also once upon a time look at the elections of up there also she had badly failed you know these these entering and going off entering into politics and then going off that kind of off and on thing doesn't work you got to be 24/7 politician to work on the ground that has not happened even in the case of uh, rahul gandhi when he was the member of parliament from amethi rarely he used to visit that place and the people like dinesh singh who walked out from the party and joined the other parties who actually used to work on the ground and similarly aditi singh whose name is uh, uh, taking rounds in uh, you know bjp circles where priyanka made a statement in fact she made a aditi singh made a statement that she did tell her husband that you character assassinate her so mm-hmm. those those are the things you know uh, the kind of affair and i don't think congress is a foothold in UP. certainly not you know and uh, gaziabad we recently saw uh, the neighboring uh, city of delhi where the uh, congress's show has been very very poor mm. there also Okay. So, so the fact remains that Congress does not have a grassroots structure in UP. They're trying to take, uh, you know, piggyback right on Samajwadi Party. The Samajwadi Party, let me by compulsion of being Indic Alliance, have given them 17 seats. Given a free choice, they would not have given them a single seat. And mm. therefore, it, it's they also do not trust Congress. Let me tell you, because uh, Congress is will actually be eating into if it becomes a strong, in, uh, then they will be eating into Samajwadi Party's vote. and vice versa so that kind of a distrust also exist and 17 seats i don't know how many they are going to win hmm. uh, to to my to the best of my knowledge zilch zero that's what i think okay manasvi thapar political analyst also joins us on the show manasvi rahul gandhi contesting again from amethi in 2024 don't forget he lost in 2019 rai bareilly we are really not sure whether it's going to be priyanka gandhi wadra or is it going to be her husband mr robert wadra but what do you look at this as is this a risk or an opportunity both are in fact two sides of the same coin i think this is hustling i would not say it's an opportunity or it's a, a risk for them i think it's hustling and politics is all about trying and 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 it's a, it's a great thing for the karyakartas of congress while the momentum have been lost after 2019 but also we should be reminded that congress bastion has been up in the past but currently it is not anywhere close to it but when the top leader of a political party which has lost like rahul gandhi is trying to make a comeback it always so bjp does not enjoy 100% of votes in amethi and no political party can enjoy 100% vote anywhere uh, swings can t- turn anywhere so this is a good opportunity for him in, and also with a great r- risk that if he loses again what would be the outcome even while knowing that the risk is there he is still going there and trying to hustle that shows that he is wanting to go back to amethi though there would be uh, uh, counters which could come up like in the last 5 years he has not visited five times also there in the last 5 years in 60 months he didn't visit six times also there but the reality is while you have lost and then uh, again coming back there is also requires a great metal to be there i don't know what the outcome is going to be there i i know the base of congress is not there but i think in any political party and in a democracy it's always about garnering votes if if not for today but some day uh, in the in the in the election ele- electoral future you may get your seat back that could be the possibility even smriti irani was not a first time uh, mp from amethi she also lost in the past atal bihari vajpayee ji great great atal bihari vajpayee ji lost no who would have thought that indira gandhi could lose she also lost and look at narendra modi ji has never lost an election so there are different parameters different political dynamics in, in a democracy but i feel that losing and then running and not coming back is a greater loss than losing and then again trying to fight an election so that the mandate and also to garner your karyakartas a willingness to fight see the momentum of elections are built built and fought not by individual leaders but the karyakartas to get that momentum back even while you know you are losing but to make sure that the momentum that spirit of fighting is not lost is very important so i think it's a good step for rahul gandhi specifically 
he may lose i i bet that he is going to lose but the momentum for karyakartas and for congress party that it would be remembered for example mm. that 2024 bjp comes with 400 seats even then congress fought a good battle as per their standards maybe in 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 2029 maybe in the 20, 2034 they could be a different political party who would have known that a party with two seats can uh, come with three three not three so that's that's the charm of democracy i think you should not lose hope while the strongest political party like congress could be decimated to uh, uh, double digits can make a comeback so we should never say never to anything and we should be optimistic from the rahul gandhi point of view that it's a good step for him i would not say that's a, a step with with all the losses obviously there's a huge risk Okay all right so 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 I understand where you're coming from and Mr Kurian this is obviously a valid point for the Congress party to feel Rahul Gandhi from these uh traditional Congress bastions because uh, it obviously will send a message win or loss is perhaps not the question over here is the karyakartas and it's uh, the structure on ground that is going to feel galvanized and this is not the last election Well Vinit uh, I heard all the panelists on your on your show very patiently I need to uh reply back to a few of them uh, absolutely firstly, uh, let, let me begin by uh, you know nigam ji he said he spoke about the state of affairs of the congress party uh, i would like to tell uh, uh, very respect, respectfully i would like to tell nigam ji that you know we in the congress party we have a set protocol protocol and procedure that we we follow and uh, as we all understand this election is uh, in seven phases so there is absolutely no need for hari for the congress party to you know jump into uh so much of hari because amethi and rai bareilly is in the fifth phase of election and the date of poll is about on the it's on the uh date of poll of amethi is on the 20th of may so there is absolutely there is still time and uh, there is absolutely no need to bother about uh, the state of affairs of the congress party coming to sumit he, he spoke about uh, the congress party you know having been offered 17 seats in as compared to samajwadi party see uh, it, we need to understand that you know congress party has uh, is going to be contesting this election uh, on a di different uh, plank altogether because we have formed the india block this time and we want to carry everybody along as a big brother we we are we are offering uh, the samajwadi party which is the regional uh, front in up which has a stronger base compared to uh, congress party absolutely i agree on that front but uh we have, we have given you know we have been very reasonable as uh, as compared to uh, uttar pradesh uh, with samajwadi party because we are fighting a divisive force and that's a larger bigger goal and larger goal we want to accomplish and we are confident that you know in 2024 it's the india bloc which is going to come to power uh that's uh, be, be uh, rest assured uh, coming to neha she spoke about uh, uh, she spoke about uh, less than 6% you know i, I uh, she spoke about uh, the congress party being rejected in amethi i would like to tell neha that you know the percentage of uh, vote difference the margin of vote was just about 6% that smriti irani and rahul gandhi so you uh, my best wishes to smriti irani but having said that this time it's going to be tough for smriti irani because rahul gandhi is going to win amethi for sure and uh, coming to manas ji thapa is spoke that you know rahul gandhi is going to lose that's not that's not true this time there's a lot of undercurrent and things are not the same as you know 2014 or 2019 Modi has promised a lot of Modi has promised heaven I can I can go, go go to that extent but nothing has been happening you know there's a lot of uh, growing inflation rising unemployment in this country people are tired uh, and so it's the vote share it's going to be uh, the swing will be very big this time so we are confident the congress party is going to do very good in uh, all the 17 seats that we are contesting uh, and the samajwadi party also for that matter is going to do good so the bharatiya janata party can be you know uh, Uh, they have to be prepared they have to prepare themselves for some shocking results on 4th of june hmm sumit how do you respond Vinny, to this I, yeah respond. yeah yeah i'll just come to you quickly okay go ahead uh, respond now then i go to sumit vinit first of all i absolutely agree with manasvi when he said that you know it takes a lot of metal to lose and then come back and that's the metal that smriti irani showed when she lost in 2014 and kept going back to amethi she was persistent uh, she was there on the ground she uh, she mobilized the party cadre she added to the party cadre and that's what led to her win and this was a momentous win you i think it was the biggest win of 2019 and and it was all i mean it was all over the global media not just india uh, now rahul gandhi being an he was an absentee mp uh, that is a well known fact and after the 2019 loss uh, as manasvi uh, uh, ji uh, noted here he has hardly gone back to amethi 
he has absolutely no connect with the workers of amethi and i'm saying this with a lot of confidence because i have been to amethi several times in the last 5 years probably more than all of the others need to be going to amethi well well that if that's the kind of attitude that the congress party has i mean i think the result is uh, uh, already out there for us to see he hasn't been to vinaad so much too uh, this time we saw the india block that uh, uh, mr kurian spoke about uh, akhilesh yadav on filing his nomination said ab sabko aana padega so is is that the kind of pressure that the congress is feeling that they have to feel rahul gandhi in kerala we saw that the kerala chief minister time and again has said that if you want to fight a divisive okay. force then why don't you go and fight it in the north all right we we have a paucity of time also i, I want i want reactions from everybody sumit uh, the undercurrent do you feel it that the that the india block and the congress has an undercurrent in up Uh, Vinay, if uh, the sun is going to rise from the west tomorrow, then obviously there is a possibility of uh, them winning the UP. But if you look, go, go and look around the UP, look at all the seventeen exit polls. Did anybody give them anything? Forget what I am you think. Look at all the polls. All the polls cannot be biased. Look at the polls, of course. Look at the average. Look at the weighted average. Look at the feel on the ground. You, there is no chance they are going to win. Last time they lost deposit on more than ninety seats. What current is that which is only visible to the Congress carder? And with respect which to the ground, are you walking on? Mr Korean I I want to make one point sir you know you said that we don't need to go there then if you have a 6% vote deficit you don't need to go there that's your rajniti secondly we need do you think rahul gandhi is such a tall leader that he had 20 days for the election to go when smriti ji is there for last few months he will go in 20 days he will do a james bond style entry and a rajnikanth style entry and he will dismantle everything and suddenly the whole of mmt will vote for him i don't think he has that aura if he has that aura you would have not lost 195 mps and 395 mlas so far you would have not leaders from ps sangma to jyotiradit sindhya and the things go on even yesterday your congress karnataka kpcc general secretary resigned he was the same person who was going with rahul gandhi ji bharat jodo yatra bharat ne yatra he joined bjp that's besides the leader is bigger in the party in congress so, so basically the thing is when you look at the track record of losing of mr rahul gandhi he is a guinness book of world record he has lost the maximum elections in his tenure but you know he is the he is the prince of the congress party so he can live with it but if you think that is the rajniti of the congress party sir i would like to remind you the people of the up have moved on it's no longer a bastion of anybody anybody who will perform anybody we will do he will rule and let me tell you sir with all the conviction okay up, okay quick comments from mr nigam and, and manas we we, we have a paucity of time mr nigam quickly uh, we need uh, for the first time i have seen that when a national party like congress makes an abject surrender to smaller parties they call it a set protocol that's what i heard just now and secondly why not is a you know triangular contest There has been a eight eight percentage point decrease in voting, which is a sign of worry for the uh, Congress Party. Because otherwise, if it had been one to one contest out there, I don't think eight percent would have made a lot of difference. But a three way contest out there with BJP's Mr. Surendra out there is a sign of worry for Mr. Gandhi, whether he wins or loses or nothing. But that would be a considering point okay. for okay. Mr. Right. Rahul Gandhi to you know come to a meeting. Manasvi, quickly, please. so i feel i think the credibility of rahul gandhi is not in question from the congress point of view why because they have been uh, believing in his ideology his leadership and they are not questioning it they believe him is, as the tallest leader and the, the other leader which comes from the opposition or is the most discussed one is same only so i think it is ideal for him to try and make a comeback at amethi he loses he wins that's that's irrelevant because he has lost 50 55000 votes last time and he has to gain that back and after Uh, a momentum of narendra modi how do he cater to that that's also very interesting to understand and no undercurrent is something which i cannot predict why because it's under the current and i will not know where it is going to go and which way it's going to go optically as of now it looks like the bjp is very very strong in uttar pradesh and it's very difficult for combined forces of india alliance with sp and and congress to counter it because bjp's narrative is so strong that the counter is not so healthy or parallelly uh there so under current the voters may go anywhere we can't uh, we, we can't know with the kind of votes vote percentage which is going down i have an understanding that the vote share going down means the momentum of election from the opposition side fielding the candidates it's not there because as per our understanding of knowing bjp and its karyakarta they push their voters to the electoral booths and they make sure that their percentage of vote votes vote share is intact and opposite because i come from gujarat and i know how bjp karyakarta squad they go to society to society block to block and bring their voters to the voting station so that kind of momentum and if it is on the advantage of the congress of india alliance it's a great thing but generally 
whenever the voting share is less it always favors the people who are already in power and when it is okay. more that let's let's get a response from neha as well neha whether uh, rahul loses or wins but the fact of the matter is it's going to be a great fight well uh, vinit like i said it's going to be interesting and i mean we're here for the fun elections are also i mean you know the the tougher the fight i don't think this is going to be a tough fight but i think it will be nice to um, have rahul gandhi there and i think this is going to be the end of his political career and i think it's in the hands of smriti ani to write that and if this is what it me, uh, means to be then why not we are all ready let him come to a meeting and let him realize that when an mp dedicates herself to the people now and not say that i am a national leader i am not going to come uh, mr kurian said you know he's a national leader he doesn't need to come to a meeting smriti rani is also a national leader more uh, more effective and impactful than rahul gandhi or his ilk can ever dream to be but she has been there on the ground for the people because when you elect somebody rahul gandhi has the office in amit they, they take care uh, of me when I you do, when you are elected to be committed. in the service of Allow people you have to be amongst them okay all right Uh, when neha says that if he loses it's a end of his career for example if he wins that would be the greatest comeback of ever in indian elections this can also happen we can we cannot rahul say rahul gandhi is going to win amethi this time please note it okay mr george kurian is confident that rahul gandhi is win to indulge in fantasies he's not going to risk it vinit he is never going to risk it take my word he is not going to risk it dekh lo aap Okay David well all right for uh, that's Bobby that's that's all right that's for powers to know and for us to find out nevertheless we've run out of time would like to thank all my guests for being a part of this uh, conversation for more such videos subscribe to the newsx youtube channel hit the bell icon